Buenos dias, people. Hola. <laughs> I wish I spoke a different language. Um, I don't know where I am. I do know where I am. That's a lie. I don't know where I'm going. Is the is the right sentence? I am just out on the bike, killing time. Um, yeah. No real plan of where to go. Let's go this way. Oh, road hazard. Road hazard. Does anyone watch that Dan the Fireman that like breaks down crash videos and does all the uh, breakdowns of like why it happened, what to look out for, all that sort of stuff? I always watch them. I actually do think they really help as well because I'm way more like observant of things now. Oh god, ah, went right into that crack. Fuck's sake, These roads are so bad around here. Wow, look at this glorious town, guys. Talk about sightseeing. Wow. <laughs> Amazing views! <laughs> I can't wait to move out of here. I can't wait to move away from this place. 25 years I've been looking at this. Amazing. Absolute great sights. Sorry, that was my, my fault late indicator. Um, I've actually got a question for you guys. Are you more reliant on the back brake or are you more reliant on the front brake? Because I know some people that rely and were taught on the back brake more than the front. Whereas I was taught and I'm more confident using the front primarily and then the only time I really use the back brake is when I'm coming to a complete stop and I want to put my foot on it, just rest, or when I'm, um, what do you call it? When I'm too wide in a corner and I need to bring myself back in, I use the back brake to sort of draw myself back in. Is that trail braking? I don't even know what it's called. Um, yeah, I, that's when I use the back brake, but some people just use it through day to day. What do you guys do? I use the front. I just find it more I don't know. Reliable. Whee! <laughs> I love standing up over speed bumps. Where am I? I know I'm in Corby, but where? I'm in the hood. I'm in the hood. I adjusted my chain this morning because uh, it was getting a bit loose. We did a lot of miles, you know what I mean? I went all the way to bloody Matlock. All the way to uh, through the Peak District, Snakes Pass, and then I'm out all the time anyway, every day on it. So my chain needs a lot more adjusting probably than the normal person. Because I am normally out on this bike pretty much every day if my bank account can hold off. I had to wait for some invoices to clear recently, that's why I wasn't on it, but we're back on it now. It's just one of those things, it's like, I want to put as much as I can into this YouTube, but I also need to be careful sometimes because I just get too excited where I'm just spending, 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 and obviously the YouTube's not complimenting that right now in terms of rewarding me the money back fully. Don't get me wrong, definitely still got enough. Like I said, I'd tell, the, I'd tell you, I can't do a full breakdown because they don't allow it to run ads on but I made for my first month and two weeks about 250 quid which is what I said I would let you guys know what, what you can sort of expect in your first month getting about 1,000 2,000 views per video so obviously you only get paid once per view but still I'll take that for some uh, for a bit of spare cash that's not bad obviously the more the views go up the more the money will go up and all that sort of stuff but yeah man YouTube's here it's just a case of building from here now. So I am uh, I'm dedicated. Do you know what I mean? You've got to be consistent. Almost delusional that it's going to work. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Keep doing shit. Because the Instagram's great. Do you know what I mean? Instagram's good for views. But people go too much on Instagram sometimes and forget about YouTube. 
and I think they need to all remember that Instagram doesn't pay you. Yes, you can get opportunities, you can get more eyes, you can get sponsorships, but at the end of the day, that page and your Instagram is reliant on all of those things, whereas YouTube is reliant on yourself and reliant on you to upload, and then you get paid for the views. So it's all good. So yeah, I do recommend, yeah, get do your Instagram, get the people watching, get the people interested and transfer them over to the YouTube because that's where it's gonna put money in your pocket regardless. You don't have to worry about uh, an Insta360 sponsorship or things like that to get anything from it or selling your own products. That's what Instagram's good for actually, selling products. That's where I promote most of my hoodies and the group rides and that more stuff like that. YouTube's more just for the entertainment long form for you guys that like to watch long form content. We got rid of the clickiness in the rear wheel. Because remember that it was clicking, it's because the it was actually one of you guys that told me that it could be the bearings and I was like, oh actually yeah. And I told my mechanic and he was like, yeah, it's definitely your bearings. I was like, alright, sick. Shout out to you guys helping me out. Now that's sorted. They weren't too expensive either, they were like 50 quid. You get two at the front, three in the back. Job done. Head bearing secure. No more shakiness on the rear wheel because apparently they can like collapse and then lock up and that is not what we want. Definitely do not want that. Oh, do I go down here again? I'm always going down here. Nah, we're not doing it. We're going to try and find another road. Because I'm always... I ah, know I am. I don't give a fuck. I am going down here. I like it. Sorry guys, you'll have to get over it. It's just a fun road. That looks like rain over there, but hopefully, I don't even know which way the wind's going. We'll turn right at one point anyway towards two flags, so that shouldn't matter. But I also don't want to get hit by it. But then I also don't care. I got that cool slow-mo video out of it for Instagram the other day, which was quite funny. It was actually sick. It looks so cool on camera with a back angle on the third person with all the rain and in slow motion because now I'm shooting at 60 frames per second because a lot of you guys seem to like it you've all commented and I actually prefer it as well to be honest now because the motion was it was nice for the cinematic stuff which I probably will still do if I go to a nice mountain range and there's like a road going through the mountains 24 frames per second will be where I go for that cool cinematic look but for day-to-day -day use going around car meets and looking right and left there's just a bit too much motion for that sort of stuff sometimes so I'm actually changing now I'm adapting and I'm uh, going 60 frames per second now, shutter speed at 120th because you've always got to double it to make the best motion. I've got an 8 strength ND on, um, and then I'm in 4K. That is, uh, that's it. That's how I get this look, and I'm at ultra wide. DJI Osmo Action 4 is the best camera right now, it's what I'm using. It's linked up below. I'll show you the bike, because some of you haven't even seen the bike if you've just joined the channel. Some people do be like, what bike are you riding? Well, let me show you. It's a Honda CBR 600F, 2000 model, so it's 25 years old, 24 years old. What year? 2024, yeah, 24 years old. And it's mint, look at it. Brought it with 24,000 miles on it. It's now got 34,000 miles, so I've put on whatever that number is. And yeah, man, it's fucking mint. It's like really, really clean. Like when I got it, it was like spotless. It's definitely been dropped because there's a scratch here. There's some dull paint here. But other than that, mate, there's nothing you can really count. Obviously, the chickies are all the way down from the knee down session. There's my first scrape. <laughs> I've yet to get another one. But other than that, yeah, it's, it's mint. It's never let me down. I love it. New chain and sprocket we put on there. New wheel bearings. It's just a mint bike, mate. I absolutely love it. And it sounds. <laughs> sounds amazing it's just raw as well cable throttle all the older bikes you just get so much more responsiveness like that's actually got resistance to it it's got weight to it so is the clutch you ride these new bikes like when i ride them i'll feel them i did, just did a video about it on my channel about buying an older bike instead of a newer one because you just get so much more feedback mate the newer bikes are just like i don't know man they're just not the one i'm not a fan you don't get any responsiveness at all it's all electronic don't like it Anyway, let's continue on our journey for the most random video you've probably ever watched on YouTube. I might go over there. I know that's where the rain is, but I've never been that way. 
because I always do go the same way it's up here and then we turn right to two flags and I think there is a right hander coming up so I might I mean there's a left hander coming up so I might actually turn left who knows we'll see where the wind takes me oh yeah we are literally going all the way to the water does it go around it? Yeah, it does. Water. Fire. It's not bad. Little lake. I wonder if it goes round. Let me ask this guy. Does this go round this road? Is it a dead end? No, no, it goes, it goes round that way. Okay, cool. Or that way when you get it. Nice one. Cheers, mate. Okay, cool. It goes round. Well, guys, I guess we're going on an adventure. Let's go explore. Let's go explore by the water. That's why I love bikes. That's why I used to do my mountain bike. I used to just go out for hours and just ride around random roads through fields and stuff. Whereas now I've got a bike. I could do it on a bike. <laughs> on the roads. Basically, like kids but with engines that's what i was saying to the lads the other day because we we're all just like right when we all going out boys we'll be all playing out <laughs> as if we were like 10 like come on guys we're all going out we're just going out and playing on our bikes but now they're just not mountain bikes and bmx's they're just 600 sport bikes <laughs> it's funny man i love it biking is just the one i say it every time it's just sick you honestly can't beat it oh please tell me we're going over that bridge i see a bridge Look at that, there's like an old thing there. Yeah, I think we're going over it. Oh, this is sick, I've never been down here. See look, we probably would have never went down here if I didn't have a bike. Because why would, why would I? Whereas because I'm on a bike, I'm, I'm on an adventure. I should probably stop one-handing it around these blind corners because if a car comes, I'm going to have to quickly jump some of my throttle and my other handlebar. Look at that! That's a good thumbnail, let me quickly put the bike in the middle <laughs> on the kickstand Quick, 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 quick <laughs> Oh, I've done the bike looks sick there Let me get a picture on my phone, quick <laughs> Please no one come, I'll be so sad No, someone's coming! No! Cheers, mate! Oh, I've got the photo, I think. Thumbnail as well. Alright, let's continue. Let's see where this goes. Oh, Leicester, apparently. Okay, so you can go that way and carry on, or we can turn right here. What does that sign say? Stocksman Great Eastern. I don't know any of those. <laughs> I don't know. I think water. Because the rain's over there, so let's go this way. This might be a really off... Oh, whoa! Oh, it's like a bird watch. Well, I can't piss here. Oh, there's like a whole bridge over there. I wonder if you're allowed on that on the bike. That would be a good photo. Probably not. You probably wouldn't be allowed. Making bike content. Let me just brush my feet. There we go. Making bike content is so difficult. Um, in terms of keeping the footage because I like to keep all my videos because you never know when you're going to need the footage again like there's a amount of times I've like needed to go back and get something but I've deleted it and I can't use it like the original files and I can't go get it 
is a bit annoying so I just keep them I've got like nearly 20 terabytes of hard drives stocked up with both that content oh my god Ooh. Woo! shout out to me for not target fixating then I nearly dropped it I was about to go into that little concave of the grass because she weren't really moving over there wasn't a lot of room but I was looking at it and I was going towards it so I just kept my body where it was and just stared at the back of her car and went towards that a little bit that saved me then Woo! careful guys target fixation is deadly it really is I'm very uh, I say I'm very good there probably will be a situation that catches me out but normally I'm very good every time I go wide in a corner and I nearly target fixate I just have it straight in my head and go no if I'm going to crash we might as well fully commit the other way and then I just throw it the other way and just stare somewhere else and then you're just locked in then and it always saves you so that was close probably didn't look that dramatic on camera but in real life I thought I was going to die but, uh, oh my god my phone look at where my phone is it's in my jumper that was close Imagine if I forgot about that the whole time and just started leaning the bike over and my phone fell out. yeah okay there we go I know where we are now let's turn right and this should take us uh, or should we go left oh wait we're back on this road we're literally back to the bottom of that hill <laughs> yeah we're back <laughs> that's so funny yeah we're back here I know where we're going now these roads are pretty boring now back to the house so I'll end the video here guys so yeah cheers for watching plenty of other videos I've got a bit more substance behind them this was the most random one probably because <laughs> I just had nowhere to go I was just having a good time but yeah man I will see you in the next one wherever I go